Okay, so hello and welcome back to Warhammer 2 Total War. Only could be continuing with our Blue Vipers campaign tonight. And I think we just finished, we just left the last session as we were just about to start the Siege of Itza. And also marching our armies down to deal with the Sentinels of Seti. It's also Hexotal to the north of us, but uh, they're not at war with us at the moment. But they might turn at some point, because uh, I think our diplomatic relations with them was around minus 40 at the moment. But they're kind of embroiled in a battle against uh, Eotain and Nagarith, which is a bit odd to see. I would have thought the Lizardmen and the High Elves would get along with each other, being both order factions, but, uh, oh well. Fine by me. I think we ended up being friendly with Hexodal because we attacked the Drowned, and, uh... Possibly also the Empire factions around there? I don't know. Does the Lizardmen like the Empire factions in Lustria or not? They're both order factions, but I would assume the Lizardmen wouldn't like Hans Marshall's expedition or the New World Colonies there because they're not supposed to be in Lustre. But I don't know how much that's represented in the game. Because the Lizardmen are very much, you know, the Empire or the humans are supposed to be here. The Elves are supposed to be in Ulthra. The Dwarves are supposed to be in the mountains. If they get out of there, that's a problem because that's not what the Old Ones meant for them. So the Lizardmen are like, we're just going to ask you to go back. If you don't, we'll kill you. <laughs> but I don't know how much that's represented in the game. Anyway, so yes, we have our army up here in the Wellspring of Eternity. Led by Draug. Uh, they might take Talansloth from me. We can deal with this. This is easy. I think I might just march back straight down here and ignore these guys uh, because I want to take advantage of the war while we have it and uh Grack is over here outside of it sir uh, we haven't ended the turn because of these guys depending on what they do we have also mash up here and I was recruiting some new units into his army. And also I had, uh, that's right, I had disbanded two units of these snotlings to see whether we ended up getting replacements for them. We'll see whether it goes up to 18 or whether it goes all the way up to 20. So I would like some things other than snotlings in my war armies. Uh, ooh, that also reminds me. I need to make a note of this. Uh, last time I found that it looked like Grax wire armies weren't actually becoming weren't actually being themed after uh, Savage Orcs. So, pardon me. I didn't have my text document selected. Um, Blue Vipers, Grax. War army not savage orcs. Okay, there we go. Now I'll have to. Oh, it's just based on whether I remember to read that afterwards or not. <laughs> um. <laughs> what are we going to do? Do I want any more units in the army? Let's see. I have three stickers. I have four savage orcs. Five seven drops actually. I want to replace them with something else. A lot of income, but that's because I'm raiding at the moment, isn't it? Kind of. Did I lose an army? I don't think I did. I'll just recruit another army then. Uh, I mean, he had to increase the strength of my Savage Orcs, but he's not a Savage Orc himself. 
So it's not really in theme, even though he is a uh, legendary lord. Hmm. I think I'll just go for another another savage orc great shaman. Fleet footed or disciplined? Ah, uh, disciplined. Scragger. There we go. You go in there. Okay, you get uh, five points to spend. Very nice. And uh, we'll start building your army up. Like so. Uh, yep, you can sit in there. You're fine there. And we'll end turn. Oh, hey, Nakai, what do you want now? Peace treaty. You haven't really done anything to me. Your army's just been sitting here, and as far as I can tell, you have one province, and it's over here. And apparently the Sword of Cain's there as well. Are you getting attacked by the High Elves? No, you're not. Defending you? Your own regions over here as well? I'm sorry. Why is this green here for you? You haven't got friends with me. Do you own those provinces? No. Oh hey, Gorok attacks uh Mugger in Temple of Tlenkan. Well Whatever. You're in the wrong place, Gorok. It's is about to be sieged. Come down and defend your capital. Or are you too slow? The Rock of Itza is stationary. Okay, the other army ran down here. It's good. Okay, good, good. Get Architect. And I'm going to go get Rachnik Spider Claw, because I have a 5,000. We're not going to make use of him, but... Uh, it will be nice to have him regardless. Well, I mean, no, it won't be, but it will allow me to get this research, is what I mean. Sometimes I say words, and they're not the right words. And I don't have enough money to break a hole in the walls. Uh... Okay, you've got 18 in your army. You had 15 before, didn't you? You get three every turn. I hope we can get something instead of them. You're just sitting there still. They're like stuck. Go there. Burden of the Shadowlands. Hello, Alithadar. We're not at war with you. Not one Druki on Nagarith. You're not in Nagarith. And we're not Druki. We're Zog and Orcs. We used the best. Okay, your wire is full. What have you got? Orc boys, goblins, things, goblin archers, other spider riders. Totem Guardian's Spears. Anti-large. 83. That's an odd number for a squad to have in it. Two Ancient Stegodons, Pterodon Riders, three Croxigors, a Feral Cardasaur, four units of Skink Cohorts with Javelins, five Temple Guardians, two Totem Guardians with Spears. Are they? They're Strider. They have physical resistance 10%. Unit to Psychology and Protect the Queen, which is target if unit is Lord or Hero. Uh, 
Oh, okay, they get a buff if they're near the, uh, board, is it? Target around self. Oh, no. Is that to the Lord or Hero? Plus 5 leadership, plus 6 melee defense, and plus 10% vigor. Okay. And, yeah, they're anti-large. 20 bonus versus large. Skink Priest of Beast and a Saurus Garvin. Fine. Is it's a, a unique map? I think it is. Oh no. Okay. Uh, blah. Don't have any giants or anything in our army, so we'll just build siege towers and all that. I might lift the siege next turn and uh, use Gozbag here to knock some holes in the walls if he if he lets me the staff close. no you can just stay there because you're replenishing still you don't feel the power. that's fine Gold's bag hasn't moved, damaged buildings are fine, and we'll just enter. Cult of Sotex destroyed. I'm surprised they held on to the, uh... That one region in the wake, in the, uh, Vampire Coast as long as they did. The Blood Swamps that they had. This was taken by the Vampire Coast. <laughs> That's not relevant to us. Rachnik Spider Claw. I suppose we'll start going towards, uh... Oh, we don't need on second thoughts? I suppose there's not an arrow coming off there, so you just need these two to be able to get beyond counting. Okay, we'll just go straight for, uh, beyond counting and share in this Karen. Yeah. This is gonna be uh, what do I want on you? Get Fists of Gork. Uh, raise the siege. Can you damage walls? You failed. That's annoying. Will I try again next turn? Maybe. Wow. Our income has dropped quite a bit. Fine. Scragger, don't get those. You have like 5,000. What happened to it all? It's, I think it's something to do with the wire armies. It's like not calculating how much they cost or something. I don't know. Strange things are afoot. Go to here. Raid. That's actually not going to help because they're going to be raiding our own province. I think. Yeah, that's actually lowering our income. Okay, don't raid then. Ra lay an ambush. Going to attack Monument of Visitel. I, I don't care. Uh, Pahox. Get a bone carver. And yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, Durbok, you can get hard to hit. Oh, Salan Huapex taken by Skaven Rebels. How? There's no Skaven around here. There's no Skaven corruption either.
Is there an undercity there? No. No. There's no escape and corruption around it, so. Is it just a random event which can occur, which uh, Skaven end up sieging settlement? Hmm. What am I going to do with you? Oh, you lost, you lost Fallen Gates. Oh, I, yeah, because you're at war with Agarith. I'm still not used to that. But yeah, they pretty much really do hate each other. How, how is it improving when they have no positives? I suppose because it's, it's not, they don't have enough penalties for it to be that negative. So it just evens out to, eventually it would even out to minus three. Right, and mash. Uh, what was I going to do with you? I don't know. Go to there. In turn. Oh, hey. There's a... Uh... Not Nakai, but it's uh, a Proxigore anyway. I think we'll be able to deal with him. <laughs> what are the noises you're making? Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about the settlement. We could have won that if I played it, but yeah. I'm not going to move my army over there and all that. Cult of Pleasure emerges. Okay. Defeat the following Lord of Battle, Mukip. No problem for a stone to scroll, a scroll of stone. That's uh, no problem. Out of pleasure. Did they emerge from here? They did. Ha! Huh. And it looks like... Yep, okay. So if you disband units from your war army, it doesn't actually replace them. Because we're 18 still. It's annoying. Uh, is there... Like a... Foresty area here we could hide in? There. I suppose just here. I... Whose armies? Whose army am I in view of? I'm not in view of anyone's army. He's all the way over there. Oh, shenanigans. Oh. I had my wire army selected. The way it words that is like... Yeah. Go there. And... Yeah, I suppose wait for that siege tower to be built. Go and attack Pillars of the Unseen Constellation. Let's go crush some more Lizardmen. He has a scroll of leeching. Pretty nice. Ah, also, pardon, I am just going to have... Okay, 
biscuit devoured. Mmm, ginger nut. Mmm. Gamble, come on, more magic. I think that's a bit of a bug at the moment. How it keeps, like, you know, you succeeded, but you have exactly the same magic as before. Ronald's middle finger. It is infinite in length. And stretches across it, all the all the planes of existence. <laughs> You can go there, you can go there, you can go there. Actually, you can go over here. <laughs> it's a very nice formation. I'll just move you together. It's easier for you both to be together. And there. And you two there. Okay. Let's get our Y units up as well. I'll be a bit more patient this time. Are you coming in? Yep. Come on there, boys. So we've seen all these before. Amazons and Kuchans. Yes, yes. Listen, men. Ripidactyls. <laughs> they got such an underbite. <laughs> I don't know how they'd eat anything. What are these? Huntresses. Skinks. These are Eagle Warriors. And these are Coca Kalim. You're taking your time. Just wait. Uh, speed up. Come on. Last one on the battlefield is all stupid git. Or a snotling. Okay, so Snotlings, you go up there. Arrow Boys, go there. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like that. There we go. Actually got... Bare number of uh, arrow boys. Spread out like this. There we go. Savage orc ball boys. The uh, biggins. Where are you? Over here. Spread out like that. And our feral Stegodon, you can go up there. They're just waiting patiently for all the orcs to get into position. It'd be neat if maybe the Stegodon had like Orky bits attached to it. So, like, extra spiky bits on its front, or just wah paint daubed on it. There we go. And 
The snotlings. You are in the right position, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Move up. It's not Link's move over here. Yes, yes. I'm sure you will crush. What's that? Oh, it was the uh, shaman, uh, the uh, slan. Okay. I was like, is there some of those Amazons here which fire the uh, bolts of light? No. Charge around the side. Uh. Boom. No. Something's get up here. Where's the purple shadow? There he is. Okay, I want you get to hunt down the cold ones. You can get those skinks there. You can get them. Charge them. Whoa! We got wah? We have got wah. Wah! There's no stopping this war. Don't skink it. You're all charging. You should be. Ooh, heck. Uh. Right. Well. Oh, he's shattered. Morgulum shattered, but he's not dead. Okay, that's good. Get that big toady thing. You getting him? Come on, he's a big fat toad on the throne. How can you not hit him? Get him! Uh. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Hey, right, decisive victory. I'm glad. My shaman there didn't die. I suppose I should have paid attention. I didn't think he would be uh, 
dueling the slot in melee. Which it seemed like he was doing. Unless he just got attacked by several of the, uh... Saurus. These guys. Scar veterans. Uh, 44 kills from the, uh, Stone Trolls. 100 kills from my... Four boys. 118 to 71 from the biggins. Only four kills from the giant. Yeah, well. Too slow to really run after all the um, Amazons. Oh, we only got 35 kills from that overcast spell? Was that? By, or did I cast that on the uh, other orc shaman? And he doesn't, didn't get any kills. He wants to destroy the unit. Unless he just dealt a whole bunch of damage to the unit and didn't actually kill anything. Pretty good though. Yay, you didn't die. Nice. Money. Get scroll of leeching. Lovely. And we also get the uh, assault of stone, which is quite nice. Or the scroll of stone. Loot and occupy. Yoink. Oh, I'm the best. Scroll of stone. Very nice. Snotling scavengers. And swindler. And snotling scavengers. And scroll of stone. Did we get two of them? I don't think so. Ah, uh, what do I want on you? I kind of want to get Bellower, just so that your leadership aura is wide, larger. And... Purple Shadow. You can get, get back here. The big one's mine is nice, but, uh... Certainly not. Let's fight! Let's see what's going on. What's the... Oh, yep. Yeah. You've moved! What can I build here? I'm not going to build this. There's no units in here which I would make use of. And the research rate increase plus 5% is not worth all the money. Uh, yeah, get the shamanic teepee so that we can get the uh, rogue idol. After that, we'll go for a Chamber of Visions, Sentinels of Zeti, and the Golden Colossus. Um, I'm going to spend more scrap on upgrading you guys. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, do I want scaly skins or big stabbers? Or leadership? I get big stabbers. And for the Savage Orcs, for the Savage Orc Arrow Boy on the go. Armor and missile resistance. Reload time reduction. Eh. Leadership. All kind of useless. I suppose the scaly skins. Because they're kind of pretty good in melee. Their melee attack is 6 56 on the Arrow Boys. Uh, the weapon strength is 59. Which is exactly the same as Savage Orcs. It's just their melee defense, which is a bit lower. So honestly, they're just Savage Orcs with a bow. And considering that, giving them scaly skins is probably the best, because I that gives me the flexibility of, you know, sticking them in combat and having them with some defense on top of their 45% physical resistance. Their leadership is like five lower as well. And also their unit size. They're 68 as opposed to 90. Yeah, it gets scaly skins. There we go. I did pretty much use up all my scrap, but, eh. You 
God's bag. If you're not going to be breaking holes in their walls, go over here. So you can see if Gore rocks on his way. Yes. And we get commandment. Get camp ruckus. Ahwax. Actually change it to give it ear. Maku peaks you're up to level 5 so get to give it ear. There we go. All the extra tax that will give us. Oh no. Fine, you take the settlement. Cult of Pleasure declares war on the spirit of the jungle and also on defenders of the great plan. Well, declare war on one and you declare war on the other there. Partners and everything there. Oh, and that also means the Sea of Serpents along here is contested. Oh no. Very localized storm there. Bankrupt! Alf. Fine. I'm going to disband some of my dudes there. Our upkeep just shifts all over the place, doesn't it? Thank you. And they just like it off over there then. That's not a forest. Uh, looks like a forest to me. What about here? Nope. There? Oh. That's a forest, but that's all on their side. Actually, you go through here. Go down here. Uh, I suppose just keep ambushing. And... We move down to here. You have taken a bit of attrition. Yeah, like one model of attrition across your end. Actually, a bit more than that. Ugh, it's annoying. I'm being bankrupt. Get rid of you. Put me some. Give me some more buffer between. Bankruptcy. Okay, I think I'll wait. Time for a scrap. One more turn. And then see and then start the siege. Or start the attack. Apparently, it's is just not that important. Oh well, who are we to complain? Maybe the lizardmen are just really, well they are really one dimensional in their thinking. They're just like, we were told to go up here, it's is under attack, but you know, we had a job to do up here, we're not going down there. Because we weren't told to.
I suppose in that way it's a, uh, lizardmen are kind of like modrons. Get end butt. What? Um. Got it. In the go there. Here we go. And. I can wait another turn? You're actually running away, so I am going to travel down to here. Three more turns until I can get a rogue idol. Yeah, I might. I might just send Mash and Scragger here to deal with Gorok. Do I have anything to give it to you? Yeah, Dragon Helm. And I'm going to give Scroll of Stone to you. We get two? I don't think we did. Nope. Okay. And turn. So after we Take it, sir. Listen. Hello, Morathi. What do you want? Sadly, a blade in the ribs cannot fix everything. I have an offer to discuss with you. And you're not at war with Hexotal. You're one province, though. But you're most likely going to be at war with Nagari. Yeah. Uh, do I want a non-aggression pact with you? Probably going to have to attack you anyway. All this territory is uninteresting to me because it's all frozen and I can't colonize it. So no, I really don't care. The chopper is in my hand. Hello, Bukip. What do you want? Nope. Oppose the great plan? Yeah. Yeah. We have the great plan, but we've got a greater plan. And that plan's to smack you. It's me, Chopper. Okay, Rend. Uh Ugh. Dodgy Geezer. The staff close. I see dead things. Oh, they've used an enemy they've used a right. Okay, they used yeah, the uh Right where you get attacked by what, where, the, where you get attacked by snakes. Use me. The great Are you really power. coming over here? <sighs> me. I see dead Suppose we just sit here. You can go into the floating pyramid. And we have three siege towers. Wait for the other army to stop moving because he can't. Can't quick save while an army is moving. Or has been told to move on the main campaign map. There we go. Oh, and they have this ability too. Geomatic Nexus. Yeah, it summons a skink priest. Uh Yeah, well. Let the Battle of Itza begin.
be nice if we had a giant to knock through the walls, or a rogue idol, but we could do so with our patrols. Hydra. Okay. Yeah, bunch them up like that. Go there. You can go there. Four boys. You lot. Grack. Rend. Buggy. And Shady. And, uh, yeah. Attack the walls. Just walk, because you've got to get in front of the siege towers. Oh. Look at all these non-savage orc gits. What are they even doing here? Stop! Reorganizing them. <laughs> it's useless trying to reorganize the tags while there's still units coming in on the battlefield because it just doesn't remember where they were put. Okay, go there. Uh, snotlings. You go there. You don't have a, uh... So, where are you all going? Uh, you two can't go there. So you can go there. You go there. And I want you over there. Actually, no. Go over here. We're going to focus our attacks over here. Trundle, trundle, trundle. Stop shooting Grack! Ow! Ow! Jeez! You've taken him down to half health, you gits. Attack the gates. So you two. Dodge savage orc boys. Bah. It's just scrawny a week it gets. I've got these lava spiders. They're pretty cool. Okay, they're totem guardians. Uh, Snotlings, move here. Wow. 
Okay, Snotlings. Can you, uh... I think I just got to completely ignore you. Get back here. There we go. Chuck your mushrooms at them. Eh. Well done. Did it, did it do too bad? There was a fair amount of damage to them. Where's Crack? There he is. And Shady. Yeah, you've got some big zoggin' dinos to chop up. If you could stop being tossed around by it. in there. We'll get him. So much for those snotlings. Well, they were drawing the attacks. Nicely done. You get to get down here. Don't run off. Go away. Oh, is he running again? He's wavering. Wah! Oof! There we go. Let's get him. Wah! <laughs> uh. Nice meaty noises when he hits things. There goes another one. Splat. Is there another one around here somewhere? The swamp thing has got pretty badly beaten. Okay, come up here. Oh, there's one. Get that ancient stagger on. And uh, you swamp things. Get away from the lava spiders. Jogging, oh. get back here. Stupid dino, it's too fast. Some other things. Croc, 
Foxy guys. Who's not gonna run? Not one of these big things are here. <laughs> are they all fleeing? Come on. Stay and fight. I just wanted to scrap with you. What has it fled over here? Oh, a skink priest avatar. Yeah, just like a spooky skink. There. There's a hydra steps on top of it. It's not actually unbreakable, is it? Hands a penetrable bolt. Apparently it is unbreakable, it doesn't have the unbreakable trait. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it's a summoned unit. Perhaps it's supposed, because I have a mod which means which makes uh, summoned units not despawn. Eventually, that one would actually despawn. But uh, it's interesting that it doesn't have unbreakable. It's not undead. And there we go. It uh, is ours, as well as. Many dead dinosaurs. Get over here. Go on. Yeah, dead dinos. You done good, lads. Uh. Feral Stegodon got 99 kills. 34 for the other one. Grack only got four kills. Twenty-four for uh, Shady. Yeah, those towers really did a number on Grack. Hundred and thirty, hundred seventy-five, thirty-six, thirty-nine, hundred and four, forty-five, forty-six. Yeah. We got the most kills on their side. Forty-seven for some temple guard. <laughs> One kill for their crossicles. I really don't know why the AI keeps, like, units like Croxigors back on their town square. It would really help if they put them up against the gates. So that they can help with the, uh, you know, scrum of infantry which push tries to push through. I 
I wonder how many kills that's not being scored also. We lost 333. Grindelardon? Doesn't really sound like a Lizardman name. Only five kills for the Feral Carnosaur too. It's kind of sad. Zero, one, two, one, zero. Fifteen, seventeen, fifteen. Hey, rank twenty. Ah, uh, sacking it would be nice. For all that. So yeah, sack it. And then occupy. Yoink! Why target occupied? And we just have to keep control of it. So I know that le lowered it by two levels, but well, all that money. Oh, we have two. Um, let's see. You can get rid of that. We don't need that. Build the brawling grounds. Get rid of that. Repair that. Get the idols. Uh, yep, sure. Eh, no unique buildings, but. Yeah, an orc shaman in the garrison there, that's pretty nice. We showed those lizard men who's the best fighters. Smash them faster. And Grack. You can get. Ward save 10%. Yeah, he hasn't even had any points put into his uh, yellow tree. Get the special paint. 10% ward save. What have you got now? 11% ward save, 25% physical resistance. Really? You're lagging behind your normal savage orcs so quite a bit. 45 they get. Twenty one percent ward save, there we go. Twenty five percent physical resistance, ten percent missile resistance. Yeah. Okay. And you you've moved. Let's see, what do I want here? Uh, get the raiding stashes. Upgrade that. Maku Peaks, I want. Brawling Ground. And I want. Get that, actually. Uh. Upgrade Swamp Town and upgrade that. I'd like that for the public order, not that we need it. Lord Recruit rank plus one would be nice. The heroes, I'm not getting. I suppose upgrade the walls. Upgrade the garrison there. Ziggurat of Dawn, get the walls, get that, and get that. Do we have any other docks I can upgrade? Port or Reaver, do that. And... That's pretty much fine, get the raiding stashes. And Gozbag. Go over here. I want to see what's going on here. Okay, Luther Harkon took the blood swamps. Slan Huap Pex owned by Itza. And we just have to stay in we just have to keep control of Itza for ten turns. 
upgrade Spectre Zuma. Not going to upgrade Slack Slan. Gorok might come through, and I don't want to spend the money on upgrading it if he's going to just take it. Kothik, Confederates with the Attain. Oh, after this, let's see. What's our suitable climates? Desert is actually suitable for us. Could actually sit, look to send Grak across the ocean over to Araby. And there's a lot more lizardmen over there. Get beyond counting. Minus one turn for global recruitment. Very nice. What you want? Mm. Doesn't actually seem to. Oh, because they take yeah, they take two turns, so it'd be four. Not really much affects these guys. I am Morathi. Should you be back defending your settlements? I mean, you're not at war with Nagarith yet. You're probably going to end up being at war. Just march down here. And you can get a shaman's hut. And uh Raiden stashes and get that. And move up to here. Oh, we don't get gold mines? Did it? Shouldn't we be able to get that? Can't orcs get gold mines for extra income? Or did that change in the last update? Go to the chamber of visions. Get them. Loot and occupy. More money. Uh, get idols. And the purple shadow you can get. Big one's mine. Drog. Get a butt. We'll take Axolotl and then Supertoon. Hmm, Malmia. What are you? Archmage of Heavens. You have White Lions, Spearmen, Wrath and Seaguard, Archers, two Great Eagles, and some War Lions. I really don't need that here anymore, so get rid of that. I'm going to move you up here. I mean... If you attack, we can defeat that army. Repair that. And in turn. Now it goes back. I wonder if there's any Savage Orc tribes over in uh 
like Gorgazan or anything. Or Wurzag. Hey, Gorok, what do you want? Peace? You'd be willing for peace after we've just trashed Itza? No. I'm in charge here. What do you want? You want non aggression pact? I mean. No. I was thinking I might do that. No. Just so that we can, like, have an ally up there, but, uh. If I get a non-aggression pact with Morathi, even though they like us more than the other factions, it's going to end up turning the other factions there against me faster. So, it's the best to just not have any elite alliances up there. That way they'll just sort of, you know, they'll still end up hating me, but, uh, They won't hate me because of having agreements with their enemies. Spirit of the Jungle has been destroyed. Carry out a successful assassination against Oromon. This mage life wizard in particular. Silvering Guard. Rangers. I cannot rewrite reality. Feel the power! Evasion. Use me! More... Ready. Attrition. Just go here. That should put us within range of their capital there. Don't have a garrison building there. March down there. You can go over to here. Could actually get a rogue idol in your army now, couldn't you? Yeah. Six hundred and ten upkeep. Oh, that's because yeah, we get wait plus two hundred percent for all non-savage orc or monster units. So that's not upkeep. I'll just get that then. And go and attack Axlotl. That's a lot of, uh... What's it called? Carmelian skinks! Squish them. Oh, occupy. Get that. Buggy. Get evasion. Rend. Uh, right shroud, I suppose. Shady. Scarred veteran. And Grack. Start getting your uh, yellow tree. I don't really want to have you on a mount. It'll probably give him some more health, but. Oh, I've moved you and I haven't entered turn. Uh, just sit there then. Uh, floating pyramid. Yes, I was going to get the bone carver there for the extra money. Get that. Upgrade the fighting pit. Uh, I suppose you can upgrade that. It's not going to get an army big enough to be able to defeat that anytime soon. And Gosbag. Hmm. 
I think I will just move you over the ocean. We can have a look and see what's going on in Araby. off there and uh, travel over there. I go down to Supertune or go up to Zlan Huapik? Also Oxil there but that will put me more opposed to the High Elves. Oh yeah, they get cold one riders. Gonna give him an egg box. Continue down there. That. Check the Zuma. Get the Hut of Bones. Get the Garrison. Upgrade the Wellspring of Eternity. I go north, there, and there. I'm going to take that. There's only those two settlements below me, sure. Oh hey, Talik. Ooh, what have you got? Temple Guard, Zora Spears, Red Crested Skinks, Carmelian Skinks, Ancient Salamander, Two Lustry Wildcats, Sacred Croxigors, and some Croxigors. And also a Croxical Ancient. <clears throat> Enter. I don't know what their heroes are doing. They're sort of hovering around my army, but they're not performing hero actions. Vaz succeeds. That's not mine. That would be Grimgore's, I think. I think that's Grimgore's? It doesn't actually say, but Grimgore's, I believe, was the last war we heard about. And I think he declared that on Karasa Karak, so... I suppose Grimgore's taken Karasa Karak? Cult of Pleasure declares war on Sildra Tor. Not exactly the people I would have declared war on, but... Uh, I suppose they might get large diplomatic penalties with each other. Travel across the ocean. Certainly not. Are you looking to take Axolotl? You're taking attrition while you're seating. That's a pain. Well, 
I suppose we'll just attack the settlement then. I don't want to take all the attrition and lose my uh, fighting edge. Did it save? There. Okay. We haven't got any siege towers, but... Oh, well. We don't need them. Because we've got living siege equipment. How giant. I should give our giant a name. It hasn't really done anything of note. I don't know, lizard clubber? That's kind of boring. That is that describes my entire army. Over there. Trolls. Giant. Okay, you can position yourselves over there. Ah, uh, there is gates over here. Hmm. Ooh, hey. Actually, rather nice. You're entering the map rather close. Snotlings. Does this why I have the feral stegodon in it? I think it does. Oh no, flock of doom! Not the birds! Okay. You position yourselves like this for El Stegodon there. You're part of those gits. You go like that, because I don't want you to uh, put a ladder up against the wall when we're going to beat a hole in the wall, because it don't work like that. There. We'll just break a hole in the wall here. Ow! That's going to hurt. Could you like clump up nicely so that I can put a brain burster on you? And a headbutt. I'm gonna headbutt ya. Oh, uh, just clipped ya. Cool. That's a hole. Get in there. Stop zogging, casting birds on us. Oh, my giant fell over. <laughs> Get back up. So 
Smash it. Oh yeah, my snotties. Uh, over here. You're kind of useless. I mean, you're fodder. Okay, the purple shadow. Go after that scar veteran. Goals. Go after the Croxicals. Are my trolls better than their Croxicals? Do we have uh, Fist of Gork? We have. Wham, wham. There we go. Pretty good. Haven't even been hurt. Jeez. Oh no! Warglom! Don't kill Warglom! Cavalry, get in here. Hey, you gits just all standing around. Why aren't you getting in here? Come on. There's a fight going on. Or well, haven't you noticed? Okay, the Feral Cardassault is anti-large. Monk. Oh. Oh, you're back again. <laughs> Club. Uh. There we go. Yeah, I could call you like, I don't know, Stinky Basher or something. Like chopping at its foot. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's running off again. Get him! Yes, <laughs> breathe on the skinks. I suppose you're popping the eardrums? Go get him! Hello, welcome. So the campaign of conquering the old world for the chosen people has ended? The halfling one? Yeah, the halfling one ended. I think I did six episodes of that? So we're actually just about finished with a uh, with a uh, blue viper, Savage Orcs playthrough. We've been hunting lizards, dinosaurs across Lustria. And Amazons, but uh, they don't really count. They're fierce, but they're not lizards. Get up!
they also speak funny. They keep talking about, like, keep talking about, like, elven gods and all that. It's very confusing. I <laughs> actually used the war. Uh. Oh! No! Oh. Drog! What happened to you? Uh. Well, good thing you're not dead. That would have been embarrassing. You get too caught up in all the... Stegadon stomping that I... I don't pay attention to what's happening to my lords. Is there anything else around here? Some more Am Amazons. Okay, before something terrible happens, we're going to win a battle. What's this? My boys don't even use the best orky weapon for big game hunting, as is large and sharpened lo large sharpened log that's carried by a group of boys. I wish we had the giant, the big, what are they called? Big stabbers? That'd be fun. Uh... Sadly, the Savage Orcs don't have them. I've been playing in theme too, so it's just Savage Orcs. I've also allowed myself Giants, Trolls, and, uh, well. We haven't gotten to, uh, Rogue Idols. I have one being recruited at the moment. So. Also, uh, Orc Shamans. And that's about it. I do kind of wish I had the big stabbers. It would just be funny. <laughs> I mean, we've got stickers, which are uh, savage orcs with spears, and all of our orcs actually have uh, anti-large on them. We have, like, six anti-large as base for all of our savage orcs, which is pretty nice. And I can increase that further by, I think, an extra ten with the uh, scrap upgrade. So, essentially, all of our orcs have, like, you know, are anti-large in a way, which is pretty nice. They've also got 45% ward save in my main army. 45% physical resistance. Sorry, not ward save. Jeez, that would be... That would be silly. But yeah, this is a secondary army at the moment fighting against Sentinels and Seti. Our leader, uh, Grak, has just taken Itza. Uh, yeah, loot and occupy. Plan buster. And you can get that. Demolish that. We're not getting spiders. Repair that. Demolish that. We're not getting orc boys on chariots. What is this? Platforms with wheels. Blah. Strange technology. Sounds a bit gobbo. Get a blade shield. No. But yeah, we've taken it's a uh, a fair bit more of the a fair bit more of Lustria. Gorok is otherwise uh, otherwise occupied. He, he wasn't present when we were attacking Itza. He had better things to do, apparently. I'm wondering whether I want to take Zlan Huapek, or should I move back and against the High Elves? Orcs with a spear isn't as orky as that big stabber. I do agree. Their spears are like goblin spears. They're not very good. They could be a bit larger, honestly. I mean, 18% bo 18 bonus versus large. What do our savage orcs have? Yeah, just six. In this army, if I go to here, these ones have the longer weapons. They have 16, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Grack has 40. Shady here has 40. With a bone, which, with a augment, which gives him an extra 16, so. They can carve through big dinosaurs pretty well. Um... They are Savage Orcs, so they lack the armor. I mean, Grak has 60 armor, and also ward saves and all that. 
21% ward save, 30% physical resistance, or my savage orb, 5%. It's got 18, because I've been stacking all the armor, which gives a ward saves on them. But during the siege of Richter, Grack was taken down to about half health. Doesn't have that much health, actually. 3,700? Futile. Ah, it's more than him. Doesn't feel like much. How much health has Goroth got? 4,045. And 130 armor with a silver shield, yeah. And 33% physical resistance. But he's like... All defense. A melee attack's good. 66. He's also got armor sundering attacks. But 57, 61 across pretty much all of my orcs. The great grain flows. Uh, you're fine there. Womp Town. Build that. Get that. Get that. Figure out of Dawn. Get that. Get that. Use me. There we go. What am I going to do with you? If I move you back to Axolotl, you're going to retreat. If I don't, you're going to go there, and then you're probably going to go to Itza. You need to hold Itza for six more turns. Get the stakes. Let's go back. I think. Focus on that afterward. Now's the time. And end turn. Whenever I play as orcs, I should get always get into an orky mindset so I can benefit from the same forces that give orcs their weird powers. Tap into the war. Well, we haven't really been that diplomatic. We've gotten peace a few times, but... Uh, not really. We haven't gotten any military al allies. Or defensive allies. Mostly because nobody wants... <laughs> no, I haven't really tried it. Nobody really wants them with the orcs anyway, but... We've been just fighting against, you know, Lizardmen the whole time. Exodal's still around, though, because... They're... I don't know. I could have gotten rid of them earlier. We did actually sack Hexon, but... We weren't really able to hold it. Alright. Can I... Yeah. Put you there. Ambush. 100% success chance. See if you can pull it off, Crack. You're going to hunt some Ponzi gits. Look at them. Get. Uh, get foot of gork. Foot of gork's fun. Get the walls. Get brawling grounds. Now have the rogue fun. idol. Go to Swamp Town. You take Temple of Kara back. Yoink. And just occupy. Raid it. And you can get... Get back here. Mash. Get... Arcane Conduit. So, our wars for the most part are also Use themed. Me. Primarily Savage Orcs, so we have got a bunch of Snotlings in them. And a few normal boys as well, who have turned up. Though there seems to be a bit of a bug, and our war boss, Grack, uh, war army is like normal wars. It doesn't have any Savage Orcs. Shame. We do have a bonus where we should, where we get Feral Stegodons in our wars, and Mash has one. Yeah. It'd be nice if we got a few more of them. Give it here. Blue war paint working like actual armor if there are enough orcs. Yeah, you mean like, uh. Like. I don't know. The higher your wire meter or something, the more. 
def of defensive, the, the more defense you get. I mean, we're going to get this, which is good. Which is really nice. It's not the biggest trophy uh, from defeating the Lizardman, but 10% uh, physical resistance faction wide is really nice, considering our normal buffs. Currently have this one, which we got from Hunts Marshall's expedition. Uh, but. Grax Wa, I think, gives us some physical resistance. No, melee attack and immune psychology. Well, forty plus forty melee attack, I think, is the most. Ah, uh, plus twenty-two percent physical. But that goes up to like sixty-seven. That'd be up to seventy-seven with that. Hey, it is only physical resistance. It's not ward save, but. Be quite fun. If the lizardmen got a bit more coordinated, that would have been better. I mean, they'd be fighting against the Vampire Coast. They'd be fighting against Hunt Marshall's Hunt Marshall's expedition. There's been Chaos Forces, which appears in Zahutek, which I have to deal with as well, and also Pest Clan Pestilence. They foiled my ambush. Okay. Cult of Pleasure declares war on Eotain, Nagarith, Krace declares war on Nagarith, and Krace declares war on Eotain. <laughs> Is Krace? Okay. Is Krace buddies with the Cult of Pleasure? And we get minus 10% upkeep for all of our units. Very nice. Uh, what do I want? I yeah, get that. Wrong how does. No. I mean, I, eventually, of course, that. But go for this. Come on, you had a 100% chance to succeed at that ambush. Why? Uh. I know it's because it's like 100% and then it minuses what the uh, bonuses of the enemy are. So, it's not necessarily 100%. Order resolve. And loot and occupy. And you get channeling stuff. And we own the Huahuan, Huahuan Desert. I think the desert area in this area in this place is a bit further south. In the Vortex campaign. I should probably do this again at a later point. Actually play as the uh Blue Viper tribe in the Vortex campaign. I think they're present in the Vortex campaign. If they are, we will probably do that. It'll mean there'd be more lustria to rampage across. Get that. As it is, you know, we're over here, and there's quite a bit of the map which was, which isn't going to factor into the uh, campaign. Not that you know it ever really does, but what do we have? Yeah, just march down here. Use me. Go back here. I want you to get them, 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 stone trolls, two savage orc ball boys, and I also want you to get a savage orc big boss. Get our orc or Garsnag. Garsnag. And you can get another shaman. Uh, serial dancer. Those are both useless. I don't get goblins or night goblins, and I'm pretty sure he has frenzy anyway. Because oh no, he's not a savage orc, is he? He's just a normal orc, so that actually benefits him. That get that, get that. 
And I do like over overcasting Brain Burster. Look at that. Wait, hold up. One other thing I think I might change in this. I've got two stickers. Get rid of one sticker and get a giant. Uh, go here. A ambush. And get Camp Ruckus. And turn. Okay, Knights of the Flame over there. Last Defenders are still around. So is, uh, what's his name? Tic-Tac-Toe. And as we found, I think, two turns ago, I think Grimgore has taken... They foiled my ambush again. Uh, Grimgore has taken, um, Karaza Karak. Peace? No. This is your last province, and that was previously mine. We're coming for you. Can't stop the green tide. Sometimes I think them shamans are just winging it. But if they's helping, I ain't complaining. Beyond even quiet. Ah. Uh. Upgrade that region. You're just sitting around in the swamp. Uh, I suppose they're discovering me with a hero. Start the world. Here we go. Charge after them. Maybe they'll attack me. Far beneath an archmage. We do have a wire army, so perhaps they won't. Protector of the realm. Ark and the Black's still there. How about that? Got to Temple of Tlenkan. Go there, go there. Not of Bones. Black's Lane. Get that. Charmin hut and enter. And if it's still the same as it did last time, I don't think we're going to be able to see what the entire world map's like. I haven't found another mod which gets rid of the fog of war. Oh well. The moot's apparently still around. Those little halflings are doing me proud even when we're not playing as them. I don't know if I mentioned this, and this is an incredibly s silly place to put this, but just as I finished the Halfling campaign, an update came out which added stuff to the Halflings. Namely, they have a cooking mechanic now. So they're able to use Grom-style various ingredients and get bonuses for their armies. Uh, or their faction. And they, have, and they have to travel all over the world to be able to get ingredients. Which would be 
fight something. Ah. Uh, just can't win. Inspired presence. Right that. Feel the power. The purple shadow, you can get blade of sh blade shield. Walk once me. And start traveling up here. Oh, you didn't attack me. Go for mark of the old ones. Friend. Gork will fix it, level two. That there. Bone crafter. That's fine. You're going to get the giant next turn. Okay. Uh, Goz bag. You can get... Doesn't really matter. Get an assassinate. You're so far away from anywhere. Just keep traveling up the coastline. Yeah. El Hike's still owned by uh, Caliphate of Araby. And turn. And you lay siege to Tlaxlan. Oh, hey, you do attack me. Okay, well. Odd that you're attacking me when you are clearly at a disadvantage, but... Uh, what's the battlefield look like? I mean, hey, it's a swampy area, apparently. Let's, let's, let's kick around some high elves at the end of this. You also get to see the uh, white lines. I've seen those yet. Or have I? I might have seen a unit if uh, Eltharian the Grim starts with one. I haven't really played much of the High Elves since the uh, last update came out. I've seen the Silver and Guard and all that. They're neat. I don't really like the taking of the focus away from the spearmen. Anyway, it's just like more elite spearmen. Now. Reinforcements are coming in over here. Okay. Hey boys. Uh, gonna zog and get them. And our Hydra. Now. Savage Orc Boar Boys. Crack. Shady. Rend. There we go. Uh. Yeah, I was going to say. Hey, your punty gets. Surprise! Oh. I cast headbutt too early. This is 
Smash him half. Smash him faster. Okay. Brain Burster. You get to come over here. Are you even trying to get into combat with them? It's chomp. spot for a brain burster if I had it okay, like that Boom. nice okay I'm gonna have to organize all you gets uh, like this archers like that You guys there, turn around. Have they all fled off the battlefield? No, they haven't. Snotlings, go like there. Okay, I mean, you could be killing them a bit faster. Push them off the map. It's a winged staff. They were gone yet. They're gone over there. Get back over here. Snotlings, go over here. Okay, you're terrified. Of something. What are you scared of? Oh, the swamp things. Okay. Stop things. Chuck your shrooms. Eh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they got saturated by uh, saturated by mushrooms. Anyone would probably have fled after that. Spiders over there. Just, I detest having stinking goblins in the army. Yeah. Oh. And I suppose. Wah. Wah. Where's Crack? There it is. Snotlings are just adorable. The way they gleefully proclaim, proclaim that they'll like rip your leg off. Boom. I don't think that did much because they were all knocked over. Oh well. Ready. 
do do a bit better than I thought they would, but uh, well. Get up. This is our Zog and Jungle. So I say jungle or jungle? <laughs> jungle. If you spent as much time complaining as you did fighting, maybe you'd be able to win. Get them. All is chaos. Because this is a settlement battle, we're going to try and kill as many of them as possible so that afterwards uh, they'll be. Most of them will be dead, so I'll spend the time hunting them down. Any other large groups left around here? No, it doesn't look like it. There's a few archers up there, but yeah, who cares about them? There we go. Elthred Stormrider. Is that the legendary lord? I think it is. For the uh, Citadel of Dusk. Got 60 kills, 49 for some white lines of Crace. The Citadel of Dusk uh, is a faction that has been changed a bit. I think it's by Ovian Lost Factions. Um, I haven't actually looked at them too much. I don't think there's been much work. Remember that Ovian Lost Factions is always being, you know, it's always under work. So some of the factions aren't as uh, along as uh, other ones are. As people who have been watching my series would, would, would know, because, well, Araby and the Halflings, in, very specifically, the Halflings have changed an awful lot since the first time I played as them. There's a lot of work gone into it. Greatly. Crack got no kills? What? I suppose it was just running around all over the place. No, you were. In combat for a while, weren't you? Against the uh, reinforcements? Maybe it doesn't count the reinforcements? Casualty? Hmm. I'll have to see. I was sure the swamp thing's got more than nine kills. No, it got none. Okay. It's just busy running all over the place. I suppose putting them on a ball would help with that. I just don't really like making my lords large targets. Eh, eat the captives. Nob nob nob. Yay, we win. Eh, get the money. Next to 420. Uh, okay, and let me see. Is there really anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Slack Slayer's under siege. Defeated them. Get Battle Masters. We get a Charmed Shield. Can actually be too useful for us. None of our characters have shields. 
But none of the ones which I'm using. Every drop prodder, every drop prodder. Yeah. An oh, yeah, that's the army which we chased off the field. This is absurd. That's a problem with turning around and attacking them just as they come onto the battlefield because uh, most of them flee. Don't get many casualties on them. So, I will send you. Get Scarred Veteran. More hit points is good. Buggy, you can get Foot of Gork. Go and attack. I actually had a second thought for a moment there because uh, next turn my Wah is going to disappear. Uh, sack it. Unlikely. Let's see. You can't reach me. I was thinking, if I go here, you're going to land, force march, you're going to... I cannot rewrite don't think you can get to me, but you'll be able to attack me. That would be all this against just this, because all this is going to disappear. So... Hmm. I didn't see that army over there. Um... I suppose we move to here. And we raid. Duh. We can get... Deadly Blade? Scarred Veteran might be nice. More hit points. Rend is finally immortal. And Buggy Peepers. Get Foot of Gork level 2. Where are you going to go? Go to there. Get that. Get that. Still not at war with Hexodal. I think you could just sit in there and, uh, Here we go. Here we go. Rain flows. I'm gonna move you south. However, I think I'm going to end the turn so that we've complete the war. And then I'll call it for this uh, session and this campaign. I did move you. Well, we know what's up there anyway. Yeah, again, I've never really seen the Caliphate of Araby expand. And I don't think in, really in any of my games. I've never really made an art empire. Hello. No. Not peace. There we go. Or is why ends. We have succeeded. We are a bottom feeder now though. And we have the bigger the bigger scalies trophy. Which is rather nice for our armies. I just wish we got the biggest scalies trophy. 55% physical resistance. 40% physical resistance. Uh 35% physical resistance on uh Ash's army. I think we can get a we get our lads which it gives us a eight percent ward save but uh extra 
This is nice. We never ended up getting that. The Wah touch. Magic attacks on your entire army. Uh, however... Ugh, hard to hit. With that, I think we'll call it there for our uh, Blue Vipers Tribe campaign. This has been a lot of fun. It's nice having the anti-large and the scrap mechanic certainly helps with just making your army... You don't really need like to worry about dinosaurs because you can just mob it with your boys which feels very orky. Um, I kind of feel... I don't know. Fighting against the Lizardmen was a lot of fun. I kind of feel like the Amazons are a bit too heavy in their armies. Like the occasional unit would be fine, but I mean, half the units, parts of the garrisons have been, been have been Amazons. A few too many, I feel. Um, it, it's kind of I think the same problem as with like the Empire when they have uh, halflings, rangers, and they pretty much replaced all of their archers with halfling rangers. I feel maybe they just need some limits on how many they can recruit. Oh yeah. We also get to see a little bit of Araby who have changed since I last did them as well. Sultan Jafar. Uh, I don't think he's really changed. He's got an unchanged Ifrit now instead of a fire Jin summon. But they actually have uh, specific heroes. They have a Hashish in here. Which is a ranged melee fighting hero Arabian Askar which I suppose is a captain unit they also have magicians so here our Sabawat probably butchering pronunciation of that but uh yeah they have their own spellcasters and I believe they have some of their own skills as well they can have a uh gin bottle which they can summon uh Jin from which is quite neat and they also have their own law don't think we can see that up here law of jinns oh well what do you know is that the right one or is it, did they have a, like a law of law of sand or something they might have renamed it there we go okay so they've got law of jinn raj yeah this is the right one Summons a Mirage to distract enemies. Illusionary units of spearmen. Sunstrike. Magic missiles. Sandstorm. Damage and debuff units. Quicksand. The unit can't move. Versus Jin, minus 24 armor. Ooh, also minus 30% magic resistance. Overcast it. An increased air effect area. That's quite nice. And Burning Hands. Blasts enemies with fire. Okay, yeah, so they got their own law. That's pretty nifty. Anyway, that's getting very aside, very aside from the uh, green skins over here. Yeah, I think if we do this again, I'll probably play it on the Vortex campaign. If they have a presence in the Vortex campaign, this means there'll be more Lizardman factions to fight against and more regions to fight amongst. Also, to mix it up a bit. But, yeah. Uh, if from here, what would I do? Uh, take these. Go against Vampire Coast there. The High Elves probably first before them. Down here. There's also the Dwarves in the mountains here. Also, Exodal. They really haven't bothered us that much. They've been focused fighting up here. After that, send Grack over here, fight against uh, Tic-Tac-Toe, and probably travel along here to get over to, you know, Rockgar. But yes, and we will save it here, and that will be it for our Blue Viper campaign. Own 88. Own it. A fair bit of Lustria. 
And, uh, yeah. Don't really have much else to say. This is from the Wii Special mod. Uh, which is what I previously used to play as Tinnit Four Eyes, but it's been getting a sort of a reworking since the large update came out. Last update came out, so uh, Tinnit isn't in just yet. Um, but I think the Blue Vipers was the last one to get updated and worked over. So yeah, it's good work. It's a lot of fun. Some stuff to change here and there, but yeah, nice. I like it. And I'll thank you very much for joining me for this. And I hope you'll join me for whatever the next campaign will be.